One of the cool things about doing Inland Empire Explorers, we get to highlight places that are very unique here in the Inland Empire. And it, it's really cool because today we're at a place that's unique and very special. I want to introduce you to Tony here from Stevens Hope. Tony, it's a pleasure to meet you in person. Nice meeting you, Joel. Tell everyone about Stevens Hope, how it started and what you got to doing. Well, Stevens Hope is a 501c3 nonprofit. We're based here in Upland, California. We got started after my wife and I had lost a child to a heart defect in 2000. Uh, during the pregnancy, we found out he had a fatal heart defect. We didn't think uh, terminating his life at that point in time was the right thing to do, so we carried on the pregnancy, hoping to get a miracle. And um, unfortunately, the miracle we wanted didn't happen. We thought we might be able to save some other child's lives through Stephen's life. That didn't happen either. So we started looking for some opportunities, and we found a, a hole in the system for a lot of these families who go through transplants, uh, transplant treatments for their children. They were missing some, some benefits that we thought needed to be met. So we started Stephen's Hope for Children to try and identify those needs and fill them. Now, when you say uh, benefits and needs, and what are you referring to? We provide housing for these families who are coming in from all over the Inland Empire or also across the country and around the world that need a place to stay for a long period of time while they're getting treatment at Loma Linda Hospital. Yeah. Um, some of the families we've had, we've had people from Korea and Mexico and Canada and Japan, and they need a place to stay. And what we provide them is a two-bedroom, two-bath, fully furnished apartment. It's like walking into a timeshare. You have a place here in Upland. Yes. You also have one in Rancho. Yeah, what we have here in Upland is our corporate offices where we run all of our programs and our, all of our events. We have some space next door to us right here that we actually run a children's boutique out of. Mm -hmm. People donate clothes and children's stuff to us and we turn around and sell that to raise funds to keep our apartments and our other two programs open. What we're doing through our, our, our boutiques is we've developed another program called Fill a Need, which addresses all those non-housing related items for families. How long have you been in business at this point? We started, uh, the 501c3 started in December, uh, August of 2000, so we're actually in our 10th year right now. And last year, for example, we, we helped over 1,500 kids between all of our programs, between the ha families that we house, those that we clothed and gave presents to. We just got done with our Winter Wonderland project where we gave out probably $50,000 of toys to over a thousand kids. Wow. Twice a month, we have what we call a Vision of Hope tour. Mm -hmm. We ask people to come in and just listen to us for an hour. It'll tell you about how we started, what we do, why we do it, and the benefits of what we do. After that, if people want to get involved, great. If they don't, that's fine too. Yeah. What we talk about during this is that the situation my wife and I were in, we had something negative happen to us and we saw a need. And not knowing we couldn't do anything, we basically took a stone and threw it in calm waters. And what we saw were ripples. And that's why we keep heads up on the walls. Is what, could you, what would you do if you could see the ripples of your life? So what we do at the end of every one of our little presentations is we give out these stones, but it just says make ripples. And it's the <laughs> idea of when you leave here, do something to help somebody because you don't know what that impact on that person's life could be. It could be just maybe by shaking a sign out in front of our boutique for a couple of hours, guide somebody in here to buy some clothes, which helps us to clothe a family that came in from Illinois that needs a place to stay. It just, it just works. Here's the thing, Tony. I know that people out there watching thinking, wow, I, I didn't know about this place, and what can I do to help? What's the simplest way to have people help? Just call us. The phone number is 866-3-STEPHEN, or you can go to our website, which is www.stevenshope.org. Look at the website. We have these Vision of Hope tours a couple of times a month. We ask people to come in, hear about us, and then we can find out where your expertise happens to be, whether it's helping to write a newsletter, working with a family, helping us in our children's boutiques. We have one here in Upland, California. We've got one in Rancho. Um, there's lots of different things that you can help with, events to office work, working with our donors and our volunteers. There's just a tremendous amount of work. Uh, Tony, I'm looking around the room and I see pictures everywhere. I, I, I'm sure these, these pictures are stories that you, lives you've affected, right? Right. You know, the pictures we've got all around Stevens Hope here it's just a sampling of some of the families that we've got. These families have become part of the Stevens Hope family, and that's what makes it so special. Absolutely. Now, do you do that for every family? Or it really it depends. It, there's a lot of times it, this family, for example, has that need. Other families may not have that need. If we have the available resources to do it, then we'll do whatever we can. Sure, sure. Wow. I'm just, I'm looking at, I mean, I, not only do you have pictures on this wall, but even w when we came back here, I saw 
whole wall full of pictures. Yes, and, and every one is, is, a, is a unique little story. But we've had families from all over. Um, and what is really, it, it's sad, but as many ha families as we've helped, a lot of them don't make it. One of the other neat things about Stephen's Hope is we understand that grieving process that they go through. And we try and help them do the things that they may not be able to afford to do themselves. Help them get their life back together before they go home. Sure. That's sure. the only time to do. Um, we have, you know, the, the, our Stevens Hope tree back there. These are some of the kids that are either staying with us now or have stayed with us, stayed with us in the past. Obviously, Stephen over there, our, our son. These are all families that have just meant a lot to us. The boutique, where, where did the clothes come from? All the clothes are donated uh, from people inside the community, from churches, from businesses who do toy drives and clothes drives for us. Um, everything's donated. We go through it, make sure it meets certain requirements. And we put it all up here, and the proceeds, the proceeds of all these sales from the games, the clothes, to the DVDs and the books, all help to, wow. to support our programs here at Stevens Hope. And, and can people from the community donate, or do you have? Well, no, anybody can donate, and anybody can come in the shop. It sound kind of weird, but what's the hope for Stevens, Stevens Hope? I mean, what, what's your big vision? Our vision is to be a place where. Families can come and get the support, get the the ability to take care of their kids uh, without having to worry, can they afford it? Mm -hmm. Without having to worry, how am I going to get there? To be a place where the family and the community can come together and support these families that for no other reason, their child got sick. Yeah. yeah. And um, you know, we have a vision for a campus with multiple buildings and helping families who are going through this this uh, this process to be able to get them back in the fold of the community. A lot of these families are going through situations where they had to give up their jobs, move, their whole life is turned upside down and they're great people. Yeah. And we're just trying to find a way to get them back to being vital again. Wow, Tony. It's a pleasure to meet nice you. Nice meeting you too. Pleasure to meet you. It's uh, to, to find somebody who's got such a big heart and actually doing something out here in the community of the Inland Empire is amazing. Thank right. you so much. Thank you. So, hey, there you go. Another very incredible, unique place in the Inland Empire, in Upland and in Rancho Cucamonga, supporting families from all over the world. So thank you so much, Tony, and be sure to check it out. Mm -hmm.